Here the word parent in Ephesians has to do with the natural generation. Someone who gives birth to you. Your father, your dad, or your mom. Natural, biological. Children also refers to natural children and biological children in that context in Ephesians chapter 6 and Colossians chapter 3. No matter who eventually takes care of you, like maybe you were adopted or somebody raised you up, the instruction in the word of God is for your natural parents, your biological parents, not your stepfather, not your stepmother, but your natural parents. So let's examine something quickly. Ephesians chapter 6. <clears throat> Sometimes you hear people abuse this scripture and they use it to bring intimidation. Chapter 6 verse 2 now. Ephesians 6 2. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. How many of you had that scripture many times in your home? <laughs> Parents know it. They don't know John 3, 16, but they know this one. Honor your father and your mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may be well with you, that you may live long. They use it to intimidate children. <clears throat> So let's do some exegesis on that. Remember verse 2 and 3 is not brother Paul talking. Paul is quoting from an Old Testament scripture. So he's just making reference. He is not saying honor your father and mother. That's not Paul. Paul just said which is the first commandment. Paul's the only thing Paul put there in that verse 2 and 3. Is to acknowledge that that is the first commandment with a promise. Paul is quoting from the Old Testament. This is a commandment with a promise. So does it mean my living long on the earth and my prosperity is tied to obeying my parents? Well, Paul never said that. Paul was quoting from the Old Testament. In verse 1, it was directly to the new creation. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. Put it up. Let's look at it again. <clears throat> Children, obey your parents in view of the Lord. For this is right. Verse 2. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Verse 3. That it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest live long on the earth so it was brother paul letting you see that there's evidence in the old testament about honoring and respecting our earthly natural parents brother paul just made reference to make you see that it has a reference in the old testament that it was not just him coining something that honor has been from the old testament Exodus chapter 20 verse 12 was where he quoted from. Exodus chapter 20 verse number 12. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. That's the first commandment with a blessing. Now, people teach this to mean that for God to bless you, you must honor your parents. That's totally against the spirit of the New Testament. Because the spirit of the New Testament tells us that all blessings come to us because of Jesus. All blessings come to us because of Jesus. Now, the same book, brother Paul, is not asking us to obey the commandment of the Old Testament to be blessed. That's not what Paul is teaching. He is not saying obey the commandment of the Old Testament to be blessed. He is only making a reference to the Old Testament. Look at Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 1 verse number 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So we are already blessed. Somebody shout, I'm already blessed in Christ Jesus. We don't obey to be blessed in the New Testament. We are blessed to obey. We don't obey to be blessed 
in the New Testament, we are blessed, so we obey. One of the blessings of the New Testament is the ability to obey your parents. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 2. Please pay attention. Ephesians 6 2. Honor thy father and mother, observe, which is the first commandment with promise. Now cross over to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13 to 15. Ephesians chapter 2. But now, the same Ephesians. But now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who had made both one and had broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandment contained in ordinances. He has abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments. He has abolished the commandments contained in ordinances for to make in himself of twain one new man so making peace so jesus has abolished the law of commandments so that command in exodus chapter 20 verse 12 is it for us no why jesus has abolished it so brother Paul was only making a reference. That is why now in Colossians 3.20 he, he didn't add blessing. Children obey your parents in all things for this is well pleasing unto the Lord. No blessing added. This is well pleasing unto the Lord. He said just honor them obey them that you may please the Lord. So, we don't obey our parents to live long. We obey our parents to please God. Hallelujah. It has nothing to do with the blessing. You are blessed to obey your parents already because you have the nature of God already. You have put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and through holiness. So, what does that scripture teach us? Honor thy father and thy mother. Honor means respect. Honor means regard. Or, treat them as important. Treat your parents as important. Every one of us must always regard our parents. Give them respect in the way we speak. In the way we conduct ourselves you must put your parents in a place where they are treated special you must put your parents in a place where they are treated special honor your father and mother respect regard it goes into simple things like courtesies respect you can be in a house with your parents and they are sweeping the house while you are there. You can't. That's disrespectful. Don't talk anyhow. Even if your parents are not educated. Don't take advantage of their illiteracy and keep collecting money from them. You go to school, you say, Daddy, they say I should buy a book in school. The book is Job, book one, grab, book two, fee, book three. Job book one, grab book two, fee book three. Geography, three books for the price of one. You collect money for three books because your parents are not educated. That is disrespectful. You must have a culture of courtesy. Never lose respect for your parents. Don't lose your testimony at home because of careless talk. Honor your parents. Even if you are the wealthiest in the world, you are the richest, richer than Elon Musk. When your parents are visiting, make their visit very special. I know some of you have a history of irresponsible parents. You know? 
I know about irresponsible parents who never brought you up. Even then, honor them. They were not interested in you. They never paid your fees. They never looked after you. Now you've grown to know Christ. Honor them to please Jesus. Honor them because honoring your biological parents gives Jesus honor. It gives Jesus pleasure. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Yeah. Make sure you honor them. Remember when you honor your parents, you honor God. 